Hi guys, welcome to JExploit. My name is Jidin and in today's video we are going to discuss about Telnet. So what is Telnet? Why it is used for? Everything we are going to discuss in today's video. Let's begin. So what is Telnet? Telnet is a command line tool to access remote system. It is completely text oriented and you won't get to see any sort of graphical user interface to interact with. So whatever inputs you have to give, it should be in the form of commands. Telnet is the acronym for Teletype Network. It was developed way back in 1969. That means it is even older than internet. Telnet follows a client server protocol and the traffic is completely bi-directional. Last but not least, Telnet uses port 23. That means you have to ensure that the port 23 is open in the remote system in order to access it. If port 23 is not open in the remote system, then you won't be able to access it using Telnet. Why Telnet is used? So Telnet is basically a command line tool to access remote computer. So if a Telnet service is running on a remote system, then you can pretty much access that system with a very simple command that is Telnet space the IP address of the remote system. This will open up a Telnet session right in front of you. Not only that, once the connection is established, you can edit files and run programs on that system. But note that if you want to do all these activities, then you should have enough privileges on that system. Third one, you can also use Telnet to check the open ports on a remote system. So if you want to check whether a specific port is open on a remote system, you can use Telnet. You just have to execute a very simple command that is Telnet space the IP address of the remote system space the port you want to check. So you will get a blank screen if the port is open on a remote system. Last but not least, you can also use Telnet to configure the network devices like routers, switches, etc. Suppose you want to configure an IP address to a particular port on a router, you can pretty much do it with the help of Telnet. Now let's see how Telnet works. The diagram shows the basic operation of Telnet. It looks complex but trust me it is very easy to understand. Everything here starts with the terminal. Whatever the input given by the user or whatever the commands given by the user, it will be through the terminal. The terminal driver captures all the keystrokes from the user and it will forward it to Telnet client. Now the Telnet client converts those characters into a universal language. Why it is converting into a universal language is for the ease of data transmission. Suppose the operating system used by the client may be Windows and the operating system used by the server may be Linux. But irrespective of the operating system used, it should be able to communicate or it should be able to establish a proper connection. That's the reason why it is converted into a universal language. So after the conversion, it will be forwarded to a TCP IP stack. So Telnet follows the TCP IP protocol for the communication. After that, it will be forwarded to the end system or the server. Next one is the network virtual terminal or NVT. NVT sets a standard for both the systems to communicate. It ensures uh, how the data is transferred or what the format of data transmission or what the rate at which the data is transmitted, everything is controlled by NVT. And at the end, it will be forwarded into the TCP IP stack of the end system, that is a remote server. After that, it will be passed to a Telnet server. Telnet server performs the reverse operation of Telnet client. It converts the universal language information into a system understandable language. Finally, it will be forwarded to a pseudo terminal driver. So pseudo terminal driver invokes application based on the user input. Suppose if the user has requested to delete a file, that will be done through the pseudo terminal driver. So this is a basic operation of Telnet. This is how the Telnet works. Now let's look into the advantages of Telnet. First one, you can access any computer using Telnet. It is lightweight tool and easy to use. Second one, it is really fast. Since there are no graphical user interface, it is really fast. Third one, it is bi-directional. 
It allows traffic in both the directions from client to server and vice versa. Fourth one, cross platform. You can use the telnet in any operating system. Whether it's Windows, Mac or Linux, it doesn't matter. You can use it anywhere. So these are the some of the advantages of using telnet. Now let's look into some of the disadvantages of using telnet. Telnet is not secure. It is not at all secure because whatever the information transmitted between the client and the server, it will be in the form of clear text. So suppose if I am trying to authenticate with the server, then those information, anybody can eavesdrop and get that information. So it is not at all secure to use Telnet. Second one, it is old. Still you can use Telnet for some of the old systems which doesn't support the new protocols or modern protocols. So these are the, some of the disadvantages of using Telnet. Even though Telnet has got a lot of advantages, it's still not preferred. Why? Because it is not secure. Whatever information transmitted using Telnet between the client and servers, it will be in the form of clear text and that is not at all secure. So instead, we can use another tool known as SSH or Secure Shell which ensures encrypted communication between the client and the server. That's pretty much from this video. If you have any doubts, feel free to drop it on the comment section. Before we wrap it up, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get the latest video updates. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.